What's up everybody? I'm back. Here we are with another update of my Robin Hood trading. And as you can see, this thing is going through the roof. <laughs> Not really. But we're heading up. And that's that's the goal. I started with a hundred dollars. I'm gonna turn it into ten thousand right before your eyes. You guys are gonna watch the whole journey. Get to see the whole thing. <clears throat> Only winners on this channel. Only winners. I've made three trades. So far, every trade has been a success. So far right now, I got, um, I'm up $2.09. I got point zero zero nine nine zero six six seven Bitcoin. I bought uh, $70 with the Bitcoin the other day. And I'm up uh, $2.09 on it, up 3%. Um, but I'm about to sell it. As you can see, I got a, a limit order pending here. Um, I'm about to show you my Ethereum Classic. And Ethereum Classic, compared to Bitcoin, um, I'm able just to make a lot more money considering how much, uh, how much I have. I only have $100, so I can't buy that much Bitcoin. So no matter how much Bitcoin goes up, you know, my, my return isn't that much compared to, as you can see right here, um, Ethereum Classic. Boom, here's my Ethereum Classic. So yesterday, I was just like, all right, I know Bitcoin is gonna continue to go up a little bit. I don't have any Ethereum Classic. Um, I was, um, it's been a few days since I've uh, purchased my Bitcoin and I noticed the uh, it was going up a lot slower compared to um, how much it would go up if I had Ethereum Classic. So and I was talking to my my wife about it and I was just like, hey man, I think I want to get out of Bitcoin and get into Ethereum Classic. But Bitcoin was pumping and it was my first trade in Bitcoin, so I was like, I want to see what it does. <clears throat> I'll just take the thirty four dollars that I have left and um, I use thirty of it. And I'll just get back into Ethereum Classic. So I got in at 13.18, and it was so nutty. Um, the very next day, right at 13.16, it freaking pumped all the way, and it's just been pumping ever since. Um, where is it? Oh, you can't see. That was, uh, this is all today. But yeah, so right when I got in, I put a limit order in. Um, and it was just perfect. It was a perfect timing. The very next day, or perfect timing to me, the very next day it just pumped right at 13.18. Also, I totally forgot to point this out, but when I put my order in for Bitcoin, let's see down here. It was a limit buy order for 70.40. And what was so nutty is that you know right here it got to uh, this is the the weekly let me see if it's on the day no i don't think so no it was freaking nutty man i was looking at at the chart and uh because i didn't realize i was watching it a day after i put in that limit order for bitcoin at 70 40 it hits uh, 70 40 and then boom, starts this big old pump. This candle right here started at 70 40. Boom, or at least that wick is, that bottom part of the wick. Boom, is at 70 40. So when it started shooting up right around the area that I got in on yesterday. So um, that's pretty exciting to me. I'm grateful to have uh, gotten in at those times. I got in right before the pump in Ethereum Classic at 13 18. I got in right before the pump and Bitcoin at 7040 and um, I'm just been riding them up so it's it's kind of exciting and there's a couple of trades that I didn't make a couple of trades that I didn't make that um, I, I wanted to make but I was just too scared just like you all know I'm not a trader <laughs> I'm not a trader um, so I was too scared to make them but I always take something good out of everything even when it seems negative and so I was like, all right, what's the positive that I'm going to take out of that? Because what had happened was I didn't make those trades, but 
in hindsight, if I had, it would have turned out to have been a, a beautiful trade. And so I started telling myself, I was like, you know what? I didn't make those trades. And I, I, so I didn't, I missed out on those profits. But had I made those trades, I would have gotten those profits. So what I'm going to take out of this is that I'm making good calls. So it was from that moment on that I told myself, I'm going to start really, really buckling down and listening to myself because I'm a virgin when it comes to this, but I know how to read charts and, um, uh, that with, um, a, a few other pieces of uh, technical analysis that I use, I just make very patient and informed decisions and um, I'm very patient about this. Uh, I'm, I, I, FOMO will not be able to grab me and pull me into a trade that I'm not comfortable making. So um, that's why you're going to continue to see this grow. Every single video you you see, my goal is to have you see this grow and grow and grow. And you're going to see me. You're going to watch me on this journey. You're going to watch me turn $100 into 10000 So I'm very excited about this. I'm very excited about what we've been able to do um, in just this very short couple of weeks. Um, yeah, we're only up eight eighty-five. We're only up um, eight dollars and eighty-five cents. But how many people would have lost their hundred dollars by now? You know what I mean? How many people would have been like, "Oh my God, oh my God, Doge is pumping, Dogecoin"? How many people would have freaking went all in in Dogecoin and lost their money? Um, yesterday it's up a little bit but yesterday it was down 15% at one time you know what I mean how many people would have lost their freaking money and just been like oh shit Doge is going down and they would have sold in, uh, for a loss you know what I mean I didn't buy one Dogecoin maybe I'm gonna I've been looking at the chart though because I'm not gonna pass up money um, I don't believe in Dogecoin but what with the new bridge um, Ethereum Doge bridge that um, took place and what's, you know, the implications of that and what that means to the future going forward. Um, that's the very first time that's ever happened, you know, blockchain to blockchain, you know, Dogecoin to an Ethereum blockchain and vice versa. That's never happened before. Um, so that'll be interesting to watch Dogecoin. And I've railed on Dogecoin forever, um, ever since I got into this. And I'm so new to cryptocurrencies, but um, Dogecoin just always rubbed me the wrong way. And I said, forget that coin. So I've been watching this. Um, so you might see in the future, you know, I see myself placing a trade if I can find a good position and if um, the news about the whole bridge and Ethereum coin and Doge or Ethereum coin or Doge coin or whatever the heck kind of coin they're making out of it, whatever comes out of it, if it's good and it's positive for Doge, um, I'm definitely going to be taking a serious look at this, looking at the map. Um, and just doing my analysis and you know make some money off this too but my whole point is man I'm patient about this and um, I just I, I think long term I think long term I'm not over here betting my rent money I'm not over here betting my gas money you know what I mean if if I lose this hundred dollars um, I'll just have to come up with another hundred dollars if I wanted to keep doing this but my point is I'm not going to stress out on this. This isn't my rent. This isn't money that I need. I don't need this money. I don't need any money. Nobody needs money. Money needs you. Uh, figure that one out. <laughs> Wrap your brain around that. Money needs you. You don't need money. Money needs you. Figure that one out and you just might understand a little secret of the universe. So, <clears throat> if you like this video, smash that thumbs up. Throw a little comment in there. Tell me if you think I'm crazy. <laughs> Tell me if you think I'm a little too optimistic. And uh, just tell me what you think. Uh, tell me what you're doing. Uh, how are you doing? How are your trades working out for you? Be patient. Be informed. And always make the right call. Until next time, guys. See you later.